I greet you in Jesus' precious name. It is Wednesday morning, the 31st of July, 2024, and this is your friend Angus Bucket with a thought for the day. We start off in the book of Matthew, chapter 8, verse 20. And Jesus said to him, Foxes have holes, and birds of the air have nests, but the Son of Man has nowhere to lay his head. And then we go to John chapter 14, verse 2. In my Father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you. What a beautiful promise from our Lord Jesus Christ. You know, today maybe I'm speaking to some young couples who are really struggling to find a home to live in because there just doesn't seem to be any houses available. Jesus is telling you and I today not to worry, for he is building us a beautiful home in heaven. Just rather be content with what you have at the moment and invest in heavenly things. I remember a long time ago, a gentleman who I regarded greatly, a very hardworking man, He basically spent most of his working life building a house for his retirement. And when he had finished it and he had retired, I went to visit him one day and I admired his house. And he was sitting on the veranda and I said, what a wonderful job you've done here. And tears started running down his face. He said, yes, but what for, Angus? You see, the man had cancer. And three months after he had moved into his new house, he died. The Lord is warning you and I today not to put all our finances, all our effort into things which will perish one day. Do not be like that foolish farmer, remember, who had a bumper crop and uh, made a lot of money. And then he said, I'm going to build another barn to put all my bumper crop into, all my maize, my wheat. And then I'm going to sit down and I'm going to eat, drink, and be merry. The Lord said, foolish man, this very night I will require your soul from you. Let us concentrate on our eternal home where we'll live in peace with our beloved Jesus forever and not be so taken up by having to own a home on this earth. Jesus bless you and goodbye.